Having the Malé modify the field rather than the Kesef will also justify the need for the inclusion of the word Ashalem. The Chidush in Avraham's response is that he plans to pay for the property rather than receive it as a gift as was offered initially by the Bnei Chet. This dovetails perfectly with the explanation that Rashi provides further along for the missing Vav in the name of Ephron. Rashi, quoting from the Gemara in Baba Metziah, has the Chumash dam the honesty of Ephron. Lefi she'amar harbeh, he promised a lot, v'afilu ma'at lo asa, but did nothing to fulfill his verbal commitment. The basis for this assertion regarding the character of Ephron lies in the fact that Avraham was forced to pay Arba Miot Shekel Kesef over La Socher, Shkalim Gedolim, that had a ratio of 100 to 1 over the standard Shekel. If we were to read into the words Kesef Male, that the Male refers to the Kesef, and in effect, as of Pasuk 9, Avraham agrees to pay with Shkalim Gedolim, then while his interpretation for Ovel Socher as referring to a payment of Shkalim Gedolim is valid, the damning of Ephron has no basis, simply because Avraham paid the Shkalim Gedolim to which he had committed himself as of Pasuk 9, when he agreed to pay Kesef Maleh. Now, however, with the Maleh modifying the field, not the Kesef, Avraham commits himself to pay using standard shkalim. When it comes to the actual payment, he is forced to pay shkalim gedolim. Rashi is now justified in asserting that Ephron was an individual who lacked honesty, reflected in the fact that in this very pasuk, his name is spelt without the vav, that he was amar harbe va'afilum ma'at lo asa, big on the talk, small on the action.